Hello and welcome to another WinPilot software tutorial. Today we are going to show you how you can wreck a batch in the WinPilot software. So first of all, we have to select the batch that we want to wreck. So if we click into our first seller and we select the first batch, B1, we see the fermentation and temperature curves. And then on the top right side, we can take actions and there is one action to wreck this batch. Then the system asks me if I want to choose the tank from the seller overview or from the tank list. Let's select seller overview to start with. So then I'm in the selection mode and I can search for the tank that I want to put this batch into. Uh, for example, let's select the tank F4. The system asks me to confirm. Yes. And then I can uh, insert um, a certain loss. Um, So let's insert 100. The amount after the wrecking will be automatically calculated. And then I can insert also a comment and click save to confirm. And now my batch is in the new tank F4 with all the information, all the historical data since starting the batch. So um, I will also see the adjusted amount right here. And I will have all the data from the analysis or the temperature and fermentation curve. Everything will be transferred to the new tank. And then in my event history, I will see that I've just wrecked this batch. Um, I can also filter the events to actions. So I will always see that this batch was previously in tank B1 and it's now in the tank F4. So I will have full retraceability. Everything is very well documented. So let's now take a look at the tank list. If I wreck this batch and I select tank list, I can choose the tank from the tank list. I can search for an empty tank or I can um, search for a specific tank. For example, A1. A1 is already occupied, so I cannot select this tank, but I can select A12. Voila. And then I confirm, yes. And again, I can insert a certain loss. The uh, remaining amount will be uh, saved and calculated. I click save and now my batch is in tank A12. Again, I will have the full documentation, so I can always retrace what has happened to my batch. This was it for today's tutorial. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to reach out in the comment section below or send us an email at service at See you next time.